Hey, welcome back to The Reel with Frank. Uh, today we're going to be building a 55 gallon fish tank stand and uh, this is what five uh, eight foot two by fours look like when it's cut up and ready to go uh, to build a stand. I build my stands just a little bit different uh, than some folks. I like to have the tank stand set up where I can put a tank on top and one on the bottom so my dimensions might be a little bit different than what somebody else would use. Uh, I go with 52 inches uh, for the length. Uh, that way I can fit two 20 gallon tanks underneath it for sure. Uh, so with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and start building uh, this thing. You want to pre-drill put pilot holes in so that when you run the screws up it doesn't split your tube before us. to make sure and get this very first upright straight and marked in the right place because it's going to determine if the rest of the tank is going to be square. Okay, we got most of the stand put together. These pieces right here are what actually hold the weight. They will, they will carry the load. And then we've got to put these four on and uh, we're probably going to add a little bit of plywood to this tank and, and that should do it. Okay, this is what the tank or the stand frame will look like when it's put together. This is the frame itself. It will hold the tank. Uh, this one's for a 55 gallon tank. Uh, my long pieces are 52 inches long. I have uh, 30 inch verticals to make it a 30 inch stand. Uh, the inside pieces are 23 inches uh, to hold the weight. That's where all the load is right there on these four posts coming up. Uh, this stand, uh, a little further on in the video, will show you where it would actually hold two 20 talls down here and 55 on top. Uh, that was my first big tank I had was a 55. <laughs> I've got a lot bigger than 55 now. Uh, but my first big one was a stand similar to this with the 55 on top and the 220s on the bottom and I always thought that was a really neat setup. Uh, this one right here, we're going to put a little bit of plywood on top, just some half inch stuff to kind of help smooth it out and then this black matting will end up on top. I, I usually cut that and put it on top, put that rubber on there. It helps with the water and, and the moisture. Uh, the bottom part will also get plywood. Uh, when I get done with this one, we will show you what the finished one looks like. I have one already set up and done that I did earlier this week. Uh, I kind of got told by my producer that I made a stand and I didn't actually video that one. So we had to make a second one anyways because we have another 55 we need to set up. So we took this chance to, to make this one to show you guys how it's done. I know I didn't go through every single step of it. Uh, it's not really complicated. You can see it goes together like a jigsaw puzzle. You cut the pieces to the size of the tank that you're trying to use. I put the post on the outside so I have plenty of room to put whatever I want to put in on the inside. Uh, a lot of guys actually take these and put them on the inside here. It gives it a smooth finish on the outside and that looks real good. Uh, when I do a bigger tank that's not going to have something underneath it, I do that. But uh, this this stand is going to have tanks underneath it, so I need all the room on the bottom that I, I can get out of it. So that's why the poster on the outside of this one. Uh, so 
We'll get back to you here in just a minute with the plywood on top. We'll have that part finished up, show you what that looks like. Then we'll go show you what the finished painted product looks like. Uh, this one's not going to get painted uh, like we thought because it's freezing outside. <laughs> it's about 18 degrees. And uh, so spray paint does, is not going to function here inside the house. Uh, so we'll have to do that in a different way. So it may be a couple days before we actually completely finish this one, but we'll get it done. We'll show y'all finished product of the last one that we did. All right, guys. Got the plywood on. Nice and sturdy, nice and solid. I like to use the plywood kind of as a brace. And you could put the tank on two before if you wanted to. I, I do on some. Most of the time I don't. I usually use the plywood and I'll come back with that rubber on top of it and it works out real good. We got space on the bottom uh, for storage or other tanks. Uh, I like to put tanks down there. It makes it easier for you to have more space to put your tanks. Now we're going to show you the finished product already painted and ready to go. All right, guys. This is what the tank looks like when it's painted and, and ready to go. Uh, here's a 55 on top. Here's a 20. We'll put another 20 right there as soon as we get it emptied and moved in here. Uh, we just got to figure out where we're going to put in those, tw those tanks. Uh, but here's a painted version of the same stand we built that's in the other room. Guys, that'll be all for this video. Hey, like and subscribe, uh, share. We're new at this, so uh, hope you like what you see, and you'll come back to see us again. We'll see you guys on the next one.